Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about a um, great little tool called Music Brains. Music Brains is an open source music database that you can access for free if you just Google it and open it up. Music Brains is part of an open source platform uh, where people all over the world have been uh, adding information um, that's going to help us with the station get the correct ID tag information on our music. Okay, so you can simply download it. It's uh, available for Mac or PC. And uh, once you download it, it's like any other software. There's no big deal. You can uh, lay it into your, your uh, toolbar and access it at will. Um, there's all kinds of search functions. There's a lot of in interesting information. Uh, other products that they use. We're not going to get into all that right now. We just want to simply uh, start a tutorial on how to utilize Music Brains to get the correct ID information on our music tracks. In the left-hand column, this is where the music comes into. The right-hand panel is where, uh, as you will see, uh, album information is loaded. And down below, um, you'll see the tag information. Let's go ahead and pull in some music. We're going to pull in a whole album at this point, and I think we're going to utilize uh, Eliza Gilkison, uh, Nocturne Diaries. This was ripped, and there are many different ways you can rip CDs. We'll make a different tutorial about that. Let's go ahead and bring it in. As you can see, it opens up all of the songs, and um, you can select on a song and see all the timing, all that information. And if you do that, you can see that uh, you know this this track has all the information attached to it and uh, label ISRC codes, which we'll talk about later. Um, so what you need to know though is that there's not always um, it's not always exactly as it seems. So what we did is we we hit look up on that track, and now you can see that one track uh, is highlighted. And we're doing look up on each of the tracks. And as we do it, you see the little green bar come up. That means they're getting highlighted in there. And you can do this one at a time uh, if that's your preference. Uh, but there is another option. You can grab the whole album and bring it into clusters. And when you do that, you see you've got clusters done. Then you hit look up and it does the whole album all at the same time. Very cool, very time saving. We love this. So when we select a track, as you can see, there is information called new values to the right hand side and original values to the left hand side. As you can see, we want to track everything and how it comes in. And the original value is missing a lot of the information, although it has some of the, the important stuff that we want. Um, why not get as much information on this track as possible? Okay, so to do that, to move uh, the new values, in other words, what Music Brain is seeing over to the original values, we need to um, save our new values onto the original values so that it goes right on to the track. Now, there are several ways we can do this. We can do it individually, or we can select the whole album and hit save, and you see it populates everything all the way down the line, the whole thing. So all that information is there. And in this case, you know, um, this is a really great, simple, straightforward approach. And that now lives, including the cover art, on your track um, that you will bring in for our automation system. So let's, uh, let's take another track that perhaps, as you can see, that information is translated over I'm just showing you album art, all of that stuff is in there. But ID information doesn't always show up um, in your reveal panel. It's more important how our automation sees it. And we can tell you that that's easy right there. So let's remove that track. Let's go to a track. Let's do a individual track and see. Let's pick up uh, a track. I'm not even sure where this came from. Um, we're going to do Greg Brown. I'm not sure where this track, it, it, it traveled around in my system and I haven't set up an ID for it. So when I click on that, you can see that that's all the information that was carried through with this track. Not much, not much at all. 
So for this, I'm going to hit scan. And there it is. It just gave me the album. And there's the track. And as you can see, on the right hand new value system, there's all the missing information that should have been attached to the track itself. Now a lot of tracks don't have the album art. That's okay. We don't really care about that. But look at all that other information that's going into it. All right. Um, it's pretty amazing. So now what I want to do, since I'm just working with one track, I'm going to go up and I'm going to add all of that to our original value by right clicking the track and hitting save. And now that information is right there in the original values and has been added automatically and tagged onto that track. And just so you know, it, it doesn't matter where your track is, wherever it originates, it's there. It, it, it gets put on it. So let's take another track. Um, let's take a drive by trucker song. And I know that I, I got this second hand. Uh, I don't even know uh, where it came from, but we're going to do the same thing. As you can see, all I have is the time you've, you know, you've got the title up there, but let's see what, let's select it. And there's not a whole lot of information, just like the last track. So I'm going to hit look up and guess what? Not much happens. It, it look up is really, um, it's the, it's the go to, but if you have this situation, hit scan and then the database will run it. It'll look for any information and there it is. It just loaded the album. When I select that, it gives me the track. And when I highlight the track again, it, all the stuff on the right hand side and new value and including the, the album art just became available through the music brains database. Very, very cool, right? Gotta love that. And this is all the info. The more information we have, the better. That's the good news. All right. Um, so now we're going to do something a little bit different. We want to add an ISRC code and I've made another tutorial on how to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and touch base with it here. Uh, ISRC code can be found through the sound exchange website. Sound exchange, um, uh, it gives us uh, an ISRC code, which in our reporting helps a lot, uh, a, a tremendous amount of legwork that doesn't have to be done. So in this instance, I'm going to put in drive by truckers, the artist, the title, what it means, and uh, the band information. And here we go. It just gave us all this information that we're looking for. All right. Now, what are we looking for? The ISRC code. That's the, that's the secret. And we're going to highlight that. All right. We're going to command C or control C to copy it. We're going to go back over to music brains and we're going to go to our tab section and we're going to right click our tag section and hit add new tag. Once we do that, we can say ISRC and then hit add value and then command V or control V to paste it into that value. All right. And when you hit save, it's going to add it in there into the new value section. And let's see where it put it. There it is. ISRC and it's in the new value section. And the last step is again, just like you would do any other time is you want to take your track, go back up and take it because it's just added all this amazing new information, including the ISRC, right click, and it hit save. Okay. Now all that information is attached to the track itself. It's pretty cool. And when I highlight this and bring it back up and a review panel, I've got the album art on there and all that information is tagged in. So a lot, a lot of information has just got added to that file, which help us tremendously. Okay. So that's a short review of music brains. Please utilize it. It's free and it's wonderful.